Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy Independence Day to those who are going to be celebrating tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to celebrating with uh, family and um, hopefully the weather around here in New England will be better than it has been the last couple of days. Right now it's been rain pretty much nonstop. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing video for you all, but um, the first take I didn't like, so um, I'm going to show you what I got today, and um, it's a box set that is truly out of this world, if you want to say that, and uh, it is the Voyager 1 and 2 Golden Record box set. Um, this is um, everything that's on those two legendary discs that are now currently on board the interstellar space probes. Um, this is a three disc set and it also is included with a, uh, well, comes with a nice, uh, book. And, um, I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you these. And, um, this is really, um, a true, um, accomplishment for, uh, humanity. And, um, it's a time capsule of our world and our civilization and um, it will truly live on well after humanity is gone. Um, the first little trinket we have here is um, a card basically to download the album if you want. And uh, this was put out by Ozma Records um, in um, Ypsilanti, Michigan. And um, they also give us a turntable cover of the um, trajectory of both um, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Uh, these probes were launched in 1977. Um, Voyager 2 was launched first in um, August on August 20th of 1977. And Voyager 1 followed with a launch on September 5th of 77. And the reason behind that is um, the four giants in our solar system were perfectly aligned for um, such a flyby by both probes. Um, and that alignment um, only happens once every 176 years. Um, and this here is just a quick uh, show of the actual image that is on the discs. It shows how to play it and um, where we are located in the universe should anybody in an, an advanced civilization come across it in the next 40,000 years. Um, the records um, themselves are uh, from when I ordered it, um, they are transparent gold, so it kind of, st they stay with the uh, theme of the gold records themselves, which are uh, really cool. Um, there's a nice um, cup, uh, album cover. It's got the Voyager craft on the front and on the back. It shows it again from a different angle. Um, the first disc I'm going to show you, I believe, is the one that has the greetings in 55 different languages, and, um, it also has a, um, message from Kurt Waldheim, who was the, uh, UN Secretary General at the time, and this is just really, really cool, um, and let's see what else is on the second side. Um, there's, um, the Brandenburg Concerto number two in F major by Bach, um, and that's gonna be really awesome to listen to on vinyl. Um, I've listened to the, um, songs and the recordings on streaming, uh, via title, and, uh, that was pretty neat, but to actually own these albums now, this is really cool. Um, here's another 
album cover and you can see the golden disc where they placed it on the Voyagers. Now this um, golden disc is an upgrade from the Pioneer probes that only had a plaque and um, no disc of any kind on it to um, say um, have any greetings or uh, music or sounds from Earth, but um, it just uh, goes to show that um, it's a very unique once in a lifetime um, project and um, an ongoing project that's been uh, going on for, four, for 40 years uh, plus. And um, here is uh, another the second disc. It's uh, got um, a bunch of a uh, bunch more sounds on here. Um, let's see. I don't know if this is the one that has. Okay, this side C of uh, disc two has Johnny B. Good, and um, it's just gonna be really awesome to listen to. It has the magic flute. Um, so I'm really looking forward to uh, giving this a spin. Moving on to uh, disc three. We well before disc three, I will show you the other album cover. This is um really cool. And on the back, you got a nice shot of one of the cameras on the probe itself. Uh, the third disc is, um, I'm not sure what's on this one, I don't remember, but um, I'll take a look. Um, this says, Dark Was the Night, which is, um, an old blues tune. Um, this has a string quartet number 13 and um, B flat major. Um, and on the other side, this has symphony number five in C minor. Um, this is a, that's a Hayden. Um, if I'm reading it correctly, um, Navajo Night Chant, and, um, yeah, this is going to be really fun to listen to, um, it's just a really good collection of what humanity has to offer, and, um, hopefully someday someone out there will be able to listen, and, um, this is the book that came with it, it's a nice solid book here's the back show you a few pictures in here there's um here is the um album itself and this is the track list in here um I'll read a little bit of it. This is the Sounds of Earth. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you have a greeting from Kurt Waldheim, the Secretary General of the United Nations at the time. Greetings in 55 different languages. And um, you have Sounds of the Earth, which includes the music of the spheres, uh, volcanoes, earthquakes, thunder, wind, rain, surf, um, crickets, birds, hyenas, frogs, elephants, just to name a few. And um, over here you have some of the listings of the tunes that are on here. As I mentioned earlier, you have the famous Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 2 in F major. Um, and then on the next page, uh, it shows that you have Johnny B. Good. And um, just a whole bunch of uh, songs on here. Uh, Dark Was the Night, 
uh, what a classical songs on here. Um, Melancholy Blues. Um, this is just a uh, very well put together book. Um, this picture here are some of the, um, I believe these are some of the satellites that, well, there's, um, that are the, um, used, not satellites, but, um, radar dishes, I guess, if you will, that are used to talk to, uh, the Voyager probes and, uh, communicate back and forth. I know they have recently updated the technology on the, um, antennas so uh, they can communicate with them still after uh, all these years and um, find a couple more images um, okay this is uh, really one of my favorite pictures we have the probe itself and It shows the two gold discs that were being installed on the uh, two probes. And um, find a couple more here. I know I'm going a little long, longer than I was planning to, but um, here's um, a couple of more images I'll show you. So. This is it, folks. This is the uh, box set that I was waiting for. Um, I'm thinking of doing a new um, series where I show some box sets of mine and um, uh, go over them with you. And uh, Oh, before I forget, um, this was on the back of the uh, box set. This is the um, track listing and uh, just a little bit of information about the launch dates of the probes themselves. So um, thank you for staying with me. Uh, happy Independence Day again to those who celebrate it. And um, I hope the weather is great for you. And um, I'll be having some more videos this month. I got a few more CDs that I've ordered. And um, I'll be doing an unboxing of those. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.